Hey guys, Circle, welcome back to Yakuza 0. Let's carry on where we left off. We are on our way to this pink circle just around the corner here, but we got caught up in about five sub-stories along the way, uh, including one we're in the middle of right now. We're trying to secure a battery. So let's go ahead and do just that. Apparently I also need to pay a visit to this restaurant over here, Komayan. Uh, we're already here, so let's enter and pay the visit. I could use the health replenishment as well. Welcome, sir. Will you dine with us today? Dine at the restaurant. Yeah. This way, please. Hello! What would you like today? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, well, we could, uh, go high roller. I don't know, um, what the difference would be getting, you know, any of these dishes that are more expensive, considering it fills our health bar. I do know that our health bar extends as we start investing in ourselves a little bit more, so maybe these just replenish the maximum amount of health, but because my health bar is so short, it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, but I am just feeling for a sashimi platter at this point in time. Thank you very much. Fifteen times we've dined at eateries. Mm, why and no? we're starting a friendship. Lovely. Was the food of your liking? Yeah, definitely. Thanks. By the way, did someone recommend our restaurant to you? Yes, a uh, fellow commenter, in fact. So <laughs> thank you so much. Uh -huh. hmm? Nah, I was just passing by and I thought I'd try it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a surprise. Huh? What's so strange about that? It's just that we don't often get young customers like you, sir. Hmm. The young generation's all about the quick food craze, no? At least that's what they say on TV. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter to me either way. I seem to get my food within seconds here. <laughs> You mean fast food? Oh, I indulge, sometimes. Didn't know it was some big fad, though. You know, people always want to try new things, and this fast food is so trendy nowadays. My son and all his college friends only eat at fast food places, not proper restaurants like this one. Oh, well, yeah, you can't really hang out at the restaurants because it's kind of expensive. Fast food, you know, you get your food straight away, and, you know, it is very satisfying at that point in time. Of course, you feel disgusting afterwards. But you didn't come here to listen to an old man complain. What? You don't even look that old, sir. I won't bore you with that, with that anymore. You mind if I ask you your name? I'm Majima. Well, Majima-san, <laughs> I hope you come back to visit us again. This could be the beginning of a friendship with the combined chef. Yeah, well, I'll be back. I definitely will. We hope you will dine with us again, sir. I mean, my health bar is regularly falling, so it's likely I'll only be dining at Kamayan from now on. Okay, now let's go get that battery, and maybe some snacks that I can eat or enjoy while we're in the middle of another shakedown fight, perhaps? Okay, grocery secured. Oh, what do we have here? Let's check that. Ah, you got the Yuki Natsume Type A card. Well, there you go. Uh, and we've also got the battery, so let's go ahead and find that uh, cell phone in a bag, huh? My daughter, please let my lorry go. Uh, what's all this? Let her go? Your daughter is with us of her own free will. Your accusations have no merit. You people dupe my daughter into joining. You, you, fanatics. <sighs> if you persist in your venomous blasphemy, I'm afraid that Sister Lori, oh, Iori, sorry, <laughs> will have to serve atonement for the sins of the mother. <gasps> atonement? Well, well. Our adherence to pacifism makes the use of physical atonement distasteful. But it is, at times, a necessary evil. Now, would you please let us be? Well, he likes to use a lot of big words. Yori, what am I going to do? Oh dear, another substory. Wow, they vanished. Damn, what kind of cult are they? Hello? Yori. What am I going to do? Oh. Oi, <laughs> I couldn't help but overhear you giving lip to those pajama-clad screwballs. Something up? Pardon me? And you, you are? Nobody special. Like I said, it sounded like an argument, and I wanted to make sure you weren't in any danger. So you're just passing by? You're not one of... them? That... that... cult? Uh -huh. Cult? Uh. Yes. Those people I was talking to. Those people took my daughter, Iori. What do you mean, took? Captivated her. Oh, well, looks like they don't want anything to do with the cult either. 
so you're saying your daughter got swept up in the pajama party and hasn't come home since? Mm. Yes. I don't know who to turn to anymore. How old's your child? She's 20. Just a college student. 20, eh? She's ripe for the picking, then. Girls her age are looking for freedom, and they must have had it on offer. Really? Well, must have sounded like freedom, because once you join the cult, it's anything but. But Yori isn't like that. She's been duped by those people. By that cult. Huh? You sure they're a cult? Not just a bunch of kooks in pajamas? Mm. Yes. I didn't know anything was wrong until I got a call from school saying Yori was missing classes. But she left home every morning, so I followed her one day. And that's when I saw her going into that cult's building. When Yori came home, I confronted her about it. Rather than getting upset over my following her, she said, What perfect timing. You should join the Order, too. Hmm. I've never seen my daughter so... vacant. She gets this faraway look in her eyes whenever she talks about this new obsession of hers. I I'm sure they've done something to her. She's also been spending her money on these expensive amulets and statues. I told her she needed to get out of this cult. But she ain't exactly listening to reason, is she? Right. The next day, the cultists just showed up and took my daughter away. They didn't resort to force, but they weren't going to leave without her either. Ah, the old, you know, sitting in the tree so they don't cut it down tree. <sighs> I gotcha. I've gone to see them many times, pleading to see my Yori, but they always turn me away at the door. <sighs> I just recently lost my husband. I've already lost my poor daughter now. Her daughter's caught up in some weird cult and she can't even see her. That ain't right. Oh, no. Well, I'm just the man for the job because, you know, I helped a guy cross a bridge and I'm trying to arrange a technological marvel to work just by providing a battery from the local grocery store. Um, Majima-san, was it? May I please make a request? Mm -hmm. Go for it. I guess I kind of stepped into this one anyway. If it's something reasonable, maybe I can help. Um, would you mind joining that cult for me? Excuse me? I just said something reasonable. Like, you know, I could get your daughter back, but you want me to join the cult? You do. You want me to join him? Part of that's reasonable. Mm. Well, only disciples are allowed inside. Joining them is the only way to get in. Lady, I was just beating up some bikers with my baseball bat right beside you. <laughs> like, two seconds before I encountered you. I would sneak in myself, but they know my face now. They would never let me pass the doors. But they know your face. You could have just say you had a change of heart and you wanted to join your daughter and infiltrate... I mean, not infiltrate, sorry. <laughs> join the cult. Like she recruited you. I get it. Since they don't know me, I can join them and gain entry with no fuss. It's sound logic, but... You must think I'm insane for asking you to do this. We only just met, but... But I want my daughter back. Machima-san, please. Please help me. I'll of course provide a reward of some sort. If you could even just tell Iori that I want her to come home, then that will too. Please. Can't say no now. <sighs> I'm committed. And I may very well be committed after I leave the cult and into an asylum of some kind. Well, can't very well say no now, can I? But all I can promise is that I'll tell her to come home. Y you will? Oh, thank you. Majima-san, please be careful. There's no telling what the Order of Munan Kohept Onast is capable of. Munan cha 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 what now? <laughs> the Order of Munan Chohept Onast. You must learn their name. If you can't even get that much right, those cultists will never trust you. Munan Chohept Onast. Uh, right. Odd name for a religion, though. <laughs> anyway, don't you worry. I got this. I'll snake my way in, make contact with Yori-chan, then snake my way out. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. I'm kind of good at that, too. I need to add that to my resume. Thank you. Please take this, Majima-san. Pajamas? Or payment? Is it a deposit? Received a handmade amulet. What's this? A uh, sign of your motherly affection for Yori? It's just a little charm I'm feeble. I think you may need it, Majima-san. For protection. <laughs> Hope it really works. Please. Please find my daughter, Yori. Alright. So I'll add it to my list of things to do before bed tonight. Goodness. It's, it's a hard life. Sorry, excuse me. Try and time to join the cult. They're right here, after all. Just chillin'. Those pajama freaks are in the cult that Yori-chan joined. I gotta join him to help out her mom. Hi. 
Excuse me. Yes. Do you seek something from us? To meet Yuri-chan, I gotta get into this cult. So first I gotta act like I really wanna join. Uh... I wanna join the Order of Munan Chohept Onast. <laughs> Macho. <laughs> no. I wanna join the Order of Munan Chohept Onast. Ah! Oh. Uh, you've come to embrace the divine magnificence of Munan Chohept Onast. Do you wish to become chosen? Yeah. Uh, absolutely, I do. Monancho Heptus, uh, where it's at! <laughs> Glory be. I can see you will be a most excellent disciple already. Right this way, please. Alright! <laughs> I sound like an excited school kid. Where did they come up with this shit anyway? I don't know, it's all... It's all psychological research, really. They figure out the best way to break down people. Thank you for committing yourself to our path. May I have your name, please? Uh. I'm Majima. Goro Majima. I'm surprised we gave our real name. Ah, Brother Majima. One asked for informing me. Now, let's have you- Whoa! Hold up a sec. You just threw that psycho babble at me like I was supposed to know what it meant. Oh, Onast is a word we use to express the feeling of gratitude and appreciation. Oh, uh, we already have a word for that, but, um... Uh, <clears throat> to you, too. As I was going to say, Brother Majima, we will have you observe a portion of our activities today. You must observe with purpose. It is the first part of your training to absorb our doctrine. There will be a test at the end as a measure of your faith. At least it ain't a pop quiz. Gotcha. Well, shall we be- Help! Help me! Help! Oh dear. What, where's your pajamas at? You're not a real disciple. Hey, what's all the racket? You okay? Looks like some sort of under undercover cop or something. Apologies, brother. He is a debaser. Oh, not again. You must be more careful. We have a new recruit with us here today. Hi. Yes, I will call for a chastening. Eh? Ch ch chastening? No, not that. Not a chastening. Have mercy. Whoa, whoa, hold up. That guy's scared shitless. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but maybe you could ease up on him. <laughs> Your concerns are unfounded, Brother Majima. That poor soul is wrecked by episodic outbursts of manic behavior. Outbursts, huh? Come, this way. Oh no, anything but the chastening. No! I don't want to go home! <laughs> I look like I'm just smelling the roses. Please, pay it no heed. Let us continue. Oh boy. Hope I got that amulet handy. What do we got going on over here? A little bit of synchronized praying? Whoa, what do we got here? This is our prayer room. This is where we practice Shura Pipi. <laughs> uh, hold up. You slipped that Shura Pipi thing in as if it was the most natural thing in the world. What is it? Show them the Pipi. Ah, but it is. Shura Pipi is a training to attain higher enlightenment in the path of Munan Chohept Onast. <coughs> Okay. Shure Pipi is training. Those engaged in Shure Pipi here are our latest recruits. As a collective, we refer to each other as friends. You don't have a special word for friends? Latest recruits, huh? That lady's lost daughter, Yori-chan, could be doing this uh, show, show me a peepee thing right here. Shure Pipi gives them focus. Through concentration, they accumulate kulipas. You guys got a dictionary for all this? What's kulipas? <sighs> well, to put it in layman's terms, it can be considered a measure of virtue. As we accumulate kulup kulipas, the divine Munan Chohept shall bestow enlightenment and rapture upon us. Uh huh. <sighs> this is getting so old so fast. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Sister Yuri chan. Oh, San, sorry. You must sway more. Proper Shure Pipi is the path to enlightenment. Yes! One ask for your benevolent guidance! Did he just call her Yori? Is that our girl? I'm sorry, I need a minute to help steer our friends towards the path of the just. Brother Majima, please feel free to observe. Sure. I'll watch them show some pee, -pee. Don't mind if I do. Here's my chance to see if that friend is our girl, Yori-chan. Uh -uh. uh, pretend like I'm not here. I'm just gonna have a look. I'm observing. Just observing. 
Okay, well... How long do they do this for, exactly? They're doing quite well in terms of synchronization, at the very least. You know? Like a bit of an aerobics class of some kind. Uh, well... Are you okay? Can I go over here? Nope. That's fine. I have business to attend to with Yuri. Uh, hey, sister. Uh, sister, that guy called you Yuri, right? Ignoring me, huh? Guess she wants to concentrate on her show the pee-pee thing. But I gotta see if this girl's really Yuri-chan. What will I say to her? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Let's uh, crack a dumb pot. People can't help laughing when it's most inappropriate. I'll give her a Sutton Bori side splitter opener up. <laughs> Wanna avoid dangerous cults? Just practice safe sex. <laughs> oh my god. It's a tough crowd. Oh come on, even I'm dying at that one. I'm blinking back the tears here. <laughs> Uh, let's call her a Yuri. That worked. Let's call her by a name and see if that gets a reaction. People can't help responding to their name. That ought to tell me if this girl's our Yuri-chan. I mean, she responded last time. No. You're Yuri-chan, aren't you? Pardon? How do you know my name? Well, I mean, I was just accompanying the guy who literally said your name. Bam! This here's that lady's missing daughter. Uh, Yuri-chan, listen up. I got a message from your mom. My... Mom? Yeah. She asked me to get in here and tell you to come home. M mother Mother? Mother. 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 What the... Yuri, Sean. Uh, mother. My head. It hurts. Uh. Hey. What's wrong? Step out of it. Brother Majima. What is going on here? He must not disturb our disciples and Shura Pipi. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my bad. I was just asking if, you know, things are going well here. It's not enough that I just interview the uh, the leaders of the cult. I need to interview the, the nearest recruits as well, see if they're comfortable with it all. Sister Yuri-san, are you well? Mm. Y yes, I think so. Brother Majima, please be careful when speaking to fellow disciples. Our friends are purging memories of family and their worldly ties to attain spiritual purity. Oh, she was forgetting about her mother, huh? What? Say, what? Purging memories? Mm. Yes. As a rule, our disciples undergo a mental cleansing process so that they may better dedicate themselves to Shure Pipi. But that's... Ahem. <clears throat> My friends, I ask for your attention. Well... Yuri's not paying attention. Today, our guru has come to inspire us in our climb toward ever higher states of enlightenment through Shure Pipi. Ooh! Friends! Our spiritual leader, Guru Munan Suzuki. Oh my. My disciples. Munancho! Well, <laughs> there you go. I hope I didn't do that. You too, Brother Majima. Huh? Wait, the hell is a Moon Nacho? <laughs> moon Nacho is our word of greeting. Incidentally, our word for farewell is Hepton. Brother Majima, please. Uh, just say the word. Munancho. Bluebird's the word. Munancho. Wendy Barrett. Huh? huh? Okay. Glory be. A most splendid greeting. Our savior and master, Munan Chohept, is most pleased. Ooh. I had no idea it was physically possible to be this phony. This is actually kind of impressive. So, friends, tell me. How much titherance have you all contributed to the exalted Munan Chohept? Probably like 95% of their income. I've contributed five Rincho. I have done better at eight Rincho. Titherance is what we call a tithe. Uh, okay. I was just about to ask that. So how much is a Rincho worth? One Rincho is 100,000 yen. 100,000? 
these disciples are kicking up that much to the c c order. Hey, this is all a process to greater enlightenment and joy. When one is bound by chains of gold, there can be no freedom. Renouncing our possessions is the first step to the rapture. Of course, they surrender it all to you. No matter how phony it is, I thought it'd be okay if it made people feel better, but damn. I mean, yeah, sure, people might feel better, but this is an obvious scam. They're just straight up stealing from these suckers. <laughs> ah, so much titherance, glory be. Oh, nas, my friends. Oh, sister. Yuri-san, was it? You appear somewhat pale. Are you feeling quite well? Hi! Yes, I, I'm fine. Unasked for your kind concern, Guru. Yes. Incidentally, Yuri-san, how much titherance have you tendered towards your enlightenment? I... Uh, I haven't been able to put together enough money yet. What? A false friend! Such a shameful lack of faith. <sighs> I beg for your forgiveness. Shame. But friends, do not chastise our sister Yuri-san. We all have worldly excuses that weigh us down. Guru Munan Suzuki. Hmm. You must understand. Titherance is an especially valued form of Shure Pipi. If you alone are lacking in Rincho, Sister Iori san, your Kulipas will be stunted. Oh no! What can I do? Uh, Titherance is a donation. Shure Pipi is some kind of meditation. And, uh, Kulipas is. Uh, is what now? God damn it, I can barely keep up this. keep up with this gibberish. I gotta keep it straight. Sister Iori-san, I am happy to observe that you are blessed with divine physicality and transcendent... Transcendental? Transcendental? Transcendental beauty. There, I got it right. <laughs> Sorry. Engaging in special shure pipi with me can put things to right. Special shure pipi? Guru, it is an honor. Oh, no. No, don't fall for it, Iori-san. The most sacred form of shure pipi. It bestows enormous kulipas. We shall experience it together shortly. Of course, you can avoid the most sacred form of Shure PB by actually donating money, but if you can't donate money, then you will... Then you will suffer... No, not suffer. Enjoy the most sacred form of Shure PB by sleeping with me. Go and cleanse your body of impurities. Rapture awaits. I shall, Kuru. Oh, no. Hepton, friends. Please continue with your Shure PB. Orash! Well, this is going swimmingly. Where's Yuri Chan gone to? Gone to? The shower, probably. I know not the details, but it is among the most sacred of Shure Pipi. The disciple becomes as one, body and soul, with our guru. I can imagine you don't know the details. You don't seem to be the type that qualifies for the most sacred of Shure Pipi, mentoring disciple. Become as one, huh? It is a special Shure Pipi allowed only to women, and even among them, only to the chosen. If I were not a man, I wish I could partake in its grand glory. I don't know, are you sexy enough? This bogus guru is not only siphoning money, but he's got his pick of the girls. How do these pajama twits not get wise to the scam? Because they believe it works, genuinely. Her mom only wanted me to get a message to Yuri-chan, so I'm technically done with what I promised to do. But now Yuri-chan's in real danger, so screw it. I'm extending my membership. Your tour is over, Brother Majima. It is time for your test. My test? Hold your damn horses. I ain't got Tom right now. Hmm. Are you sure? By demonstrating you have learned the ways of the Order, you may earn a blessing in person from the Guru. Oh, I'd love to give him my blessing. Ayate. A fisting. To the face, that is. <laughs> Say what? You mean I can meet the old Guru if I do good on your test? <laughs> oh, you're on then. Very well. It will be a simple oral exam. A quiz, really. To determine how attentive you were during your tour. For sure. The first question, then. In the order of Munan Chohepdonast, what do we say to express our gratitude? You say Onast. Onast! Splendid. Correct, Brother Majima. You have learned from our tour. <laughs> Piece of cake. You'll have to do better than that. Your second question. What do we call the training we undergo to accumulate kulipas? You call it Show Me the Peepee. -pee. Sure, a peepee. -pee. Wonderful. Correct. You have practiced proper Shure Pipi even during your brief tour. Very impressive. I did, but I wasn't doing the gesture or anything. I do have one D merit point. I hope that's not going to count against me in this 
A little test. <laughs> well, for sure. I'm the sure peepee king. <laughs> the third question. Munancho is our greeting in the order of Munancho Heptonast. Please demonstrate it. Uh, circle with the left hand and bring the palms together. <laughs> Do the hustle. Munancho. Munancho. There we go. Aren't I a Genki girl? I mean, sorry. Excellent. Truly a textbook example of Munancho. <laughs> I got the moves. I even got the thumbs up gesture. Very well then. The final question. Do you remember the name of our guru? Uh, it was Munan Suzuki. Right? Bravo, correct. Perhaps it was too easy a question. Doesn't matter, it's on the test and I pass with flying colors. You think? He's, uh, <laughs> larger than life. With that, we are done. Your test is at an end. Splendidly done, Brother Majima. You scored a perfect four out of four. It speaks to your attentiveness during your tour. Someone of your caliber may even qualify as a leadership candidate. Really? That's all it takes? Suppose you do have to be a sucker to fall for the scam in the first place, so not many people would have been able to answer all four questions. <laughs> <laughs> Munan Majima's got a nice ring to it. Brother Majima, I can find no fault with you. You are worthy of receiving our guru's benediction in person. Oh my. Follow me. I will show you to our guru's quarters. Hope yuri -chan's still okay. Guru Manan Suzuki, please excuse us. Well, your replacement leader is here. Ah, uh, is that our new friend candidate? What was it now? It's Brother Majima. Uh. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Brother Majima is a rare find. An extraordinary individual. Guru, he is most worthy of your divine benediction. I see. That is music to my ears. I have matters I must attend to, so let's not waste any time. There. You have my blessing. Oh, that's all it took? You just basically said hello to me. Wonderful. You got some crystal. <laughs> you call this stuff your blessing? Mm -hmm. Is there a problem? No, I suppose not. Kiru, excuse me. She's here. Uh, Yuri-san, you have readied yourself with Shure Pipi? Hi! Yes, Guru. I've cleansed myself thoroughly. I'm a vessel for your special Shure Pipi. Excellent. Since I already performed your benediction, both of you should leave at once. Hepton. Alright, end of the road. If I don't stop this now, the Shure Pipi pissant's gonna have his way with Yuri-chan. <laughs> Shure Pipi with me instead. Yuri-chan, forget this granola guru. How about you just sure a pee-pee with me instead? I'm not quite the guru just yet. I beg your pardon? Would sure a pee-pee with you add to my kulipas? Oh yeah. Uh, it might not do anything for your kulipas, but then there is no need. Brother Majima, what is the meaning of this outburst? Exit my chamber at once! <sighs> what was I thinking? That made me sound just like this guru goon. Yeah, well, I was hoping she'd go along with it. Uh, I am Munan Johet. Mortal. <laughs> Hear me, yuri -chan. Flee! Flee at once for your home! Huh? How dare you! You must never take Munan Johet's name in jest! I'm, I'm not joking, I'm deadly serious. Brother Majima, that is utter blasphemy. You spit in the face of our divinity! Who put you up to this? P please forgive me. Uh, Majima-san, you'll be doomed to eternal damnation! <sighs> Invoke of the big man's name sure gets people riled up around here. What's my plan? Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Yuri-chan, you're being conned. Your mom's gonna be heartbroken. Mom? Yeah, you remember who she is? <laughs> Who's mom? My head. It hurts. You can't forget your mom, Yuri-chan. They might have messed with your memory, but you gotta remember the woman who raised you. Stop it, Majima-san. Awakening the memories of friends is a sin beyond all sins. Uh, it's her family, not her friend. Exactly, Munan Suzuki. Shut your face, you damn phony. Yuri-chan, step out of it. I'll take you home to your mom. What is mom? Uh -huh. 
Oh, this, it's my mother's amulet. Oh. You're right, John. Do you remember now? Uh huh. I, I don't know. But why did I ever think I wanted to become one with this shady old hippie? You're thinking straight now, at least. Uh, this woman was ripened. Mine for the plucking. How dare you interfere? Bring it on. Hmm? Kikuru Munasuzuki? See, there's your snake oil shillin' fraud showing his true colors. Guru Pajama Pants has been milking all of you. Silence! Menacing man. Oh my. Well, I've got a baseball bat. Urgh. Nice block there. Oops, sorry, that's your furniture. But I can't block backwards like that. Ooh. Oh, he's got some moves. Oh, damn. How about this? <laughs> yeah, block that, you son of a bitch. Oh, I'm gonna send you right to your divine friend. Okay, let's switch to Thud. In a moment. Once I get to my feet. There we are. Oh, I love that music change. Ooh. Take a seat. Oh damn, I didn't realize it was a prompt again. Come on, Jack. It's a fast float. Ooh. Ah! Stay away from my peepee. Not sure I it to you today. There we go. Nice right, skipper. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on. There we are. Don't slow down on me now, game, please. Now's not the time. Come on. Bring it on. That's right. Miss me. Give me this. Oh man, I didn't realize I had so much money. Oh. Ow. No, I will eat my food. Ah, I've evolved. I've learned to heal during battles. Believe it or not, I am enlightened now. Okay, it's not enough to just block, of course, because he has block-breaking moves. Gotcha! Whew. That was a lot of money. That he swindled. Ah! Ugh, such pain! How many broken bones do I have? Guru! We heard terrible noises! Is everything alright? Friends! Quickly! You must call me an ambulance! Ah. Our Guru is gravely injured. We must perform the ritual of healing for him, everyone. Hunan! Ugh, no, you dipshit! <laughs> Waving your hands around at me won't fix anything! <laughs> Well, you reap what you sow. Somebody help me! I was... like that too, wasn't I? Yuri-chan, we should get you home. Right. Yuri? Mom! Are you done with that crazy religion? Mm. Yes, I'm over it. Mom, I... I wanted to bring Dad back. Huh? What? Ever since Dad died, you haven't stopped crying. But there was nothing I could do for you. That's when they told me the dead could be brought back to life. I just had to... I just had to do these rituals and earn a few spurt points. Of course, they'll say anything to just entice you to join, huh? I should have known how insane it was. I guess I just got caught up in that cult scam. So that's why. They prey upon the emotionally, emotionally vulnerable. But I know now that if I followed those terrible people, 
I'd be leaving you all alone, and, and that's even worse. I'm so sorry. No, I should be the one saying sorry, Yuri. I didn't know how much anguish I was causing you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Thank you, Majima-san. I only asked you to, to deliver a message, but you got my daughter back. I can never thank you enough. <laughs> no problem at all. I'd say I got a pretty spiritual experience out of it, too. Majima-san, please take this as our thanks. It seems hardly of any value for all that you did for us, though. I don't know why my game keeps freezing like that. I'm so sorry. I need to look into it. You got a traveler's address. Oh, right. Yuri-chan. I gotta give this to you. You handed over the handmade amulet. <gasps> this? It's mom's! <laughs> the amulet totally worked, you know. After all, you got some free pajamas out of it, Yuri-chan. You hold on to that amulet and let it protect you. You and your mom. Keep the family together, will you? Hey! I will. Machima-san. Mm -hmm. What's up? Thank you. You saved us. <laughs> it's all good. All of the night's work. Five Majima sub stories complete. I feel like we got a lot more than we had with Kiryu at uh, this at the point in time that we controlled it. Okay, come on, cell phone, let's go. <laughs> well, looks like we've got another sub story on our head. Get real, you leech. Hmm? It's all this then. Screw your little sales tax. They want us to pay a tax every time we buy something. You bloodsuckers! You'll bleed the whole country dry. I understand your anger is justified, but it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. Huh? Get stuffed! You gotta pay a sales tax on that fancy suit that you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat! This tax is only made to keep the common people down! Yeah, you vulture. That younger guy is sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't? It's tax. I guess it's my lucky day to run into the son of a bitch bureaucrats trying to spring the sales tax on us all alone in the back alley, no less. Hmm? Uh, I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you we're fucking pissed. Yeah. Why don't we give you a little taste of public opinion? Then you'll know what oppression feels like. Please, calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. <sighs> Uh-oh, this pot's about to boil over. Oh, God. All right, let me step in. Until I hear about my taxes getting raised. P please, calm down. Huh? Shut it, asshole. Oh. Hey, fellas, let's tone it down. No sense ganging up on one guy. Have a little pride, eh? What? You don't know who this cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil-pushing dickwad that came up with the sales tax. Huh? Sales tax? What? Don't you watch the news? It's a new tax that's going to start charging next year. Hmm. Every time you buy something, I'm going to charge you 3% more. Is that ridiculous? What? what? That is some bullshit. And this guy's the douchebag? That's highway robbery! I told you, as soon as we learn about the tax, we're gonna get involved. Uh, well, uh, I about lost it for a second there. Listen, guys, I totally understand why it pissed you off. But beating this guy to a pulp isn't gonna make the sales tax go away, is it? Huh? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know what the, the people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Yeah, power to the people. If you ain't a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You wanna stick up for this mosquito? Then we'll show you the power of the masses, too. <sighs> so what you're really after is blowing off steam. Sure. See how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole! Okay. Well, I'm happy to provide you with a different kind of tax. You'll have to pay the dentist for it. <laughs> what was that? Whoa. Nope. Nice try. Boy. Really? Alright. Here comes your 3%. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out of line. Whoop happened again? <laughs> Public outrage sure fizzles fast. I know. Thank you for stepping in. Well, those people were out for blood. I'm Tayo Matsuzato. Tayo is in the sun. Uh, if I may, 
Can I buy you a drink as thanks? <laughs> it's a good name. My Majima. No need for any thanks. Yeah. Oh no, I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You, uh, some kind of political big shot? Well, I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but, uh, I am in a position to help steer the country. I came to Sutton Bori for a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. Of course, it's easy to just sign it off behind the desk. You're driving a tank called the government. Even if you're careful, people are going to be pissed when you steamroll them. But you're trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You gotta take some pride in that. <laughs> Imagine that. A Yakuza complimenting the government. Do you think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only on a logical level. When I saw how emotional they got about it, well, it was daunting. See, the trouble with taxes, you know, they work hard for their money, and then the government takes it away for what? You know, you read the news how they just, you know, they travel in expensive cars, and they take flights, and they enact stupid laws where your taxpayer money just goes and gets wasted, and it's just disappointing, to say the least, a lot of the time, to read where your tax money's going. They find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg and that there are more taxes on the way. I hate to think how the people will react. Also, as well, like when they when you hear that they're raising taxes and their budget is blowing or something, you wonder like how the hell did they get to this point? They're supposed to be experts, right? Why are they spending money on all this, this useless trash and now they have to raise taxes? <laughs> what? More taxes on top of the sales tax? Eh. Right. Nothing set in stone yet, but we're considering many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. How about instead of generating revenue streams, you sort out your expenditure? In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. That's so. Well, I guess with everyone making such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands in the pie. <sighs> yes, but as you've seen firsthand, we have to consider public opinion. What if I can really come up with a tax policy that everyone could live with? And also as well, uh, you know, it's sales tax, right? Which means it affects the citizens of the country, the people going out and buying goods. Sales tax is also a uh, a regressive tax, whereas in, you know, poor people, it tends to negatively affect poorer people rather than richer people, according to basic economics. Uh, whereas, you know, corporations, big corporations get away with paying little to no tax whatsoever. You know, and the government has to rake in the money from the people rather than those big corporations that aren't even, you know, actual people with lives, but just companies that feed the rich. So, you know, that's why people get pissed off, Mr. Government Employee. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold out its hand. <sighs> yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the right balance, and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do, but take care of the country for us, alright? <laughs> Wait, Majima-san, can you help me just once more? Sure, don't invest in any police so I can continue with my illicit activities. Huh? huh? You got another mob waiting to string you up? Do I have to help you cross the street? Yeah. Oh, no, not that. I want to get your views on taxation. What? I know less than nothing on the subject of taxes. I don't pay my taxes. <laughs> That's why you're perfect. You see, I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who is completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. You think? Please, Majibasan. It's no exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me advice on taxation policy? Oh, well, <laughs> I suppose I'm the most qualified person for the job. I'll happily do it. Yes. <sighs> okay, okay, you win. Let's talk some taxes. <laughs> this is not how I envisioned spending my night, you know, before Christmas, or well, not before Christmas, but it's coming close. Thank you. Your insight will be invaluable. This is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere more appropriate? Sure, lead the way. Where are we? Restaurant? Now, you better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about tax policy. Don't expect much from me. Eh. No, that's exactly why I asked you. I know you'll have some unique insights, not bound by typical conventions. So you're basically hoping to strike gold in a copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with a basic question. Sure. Majima-san, do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? <laughs> so we, uh, so we pretend that we're stupid? To keep the people down. You gotta keep the people down, right? <laughs> Slaves ain't much use if we're dead, but you can't have us living too well, either. Gotta keep us submissive. Eh? 
Majima-san, what a frightening outlook on life! Citizens are not slaves. <laughs> Taxes are collected primarily for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police, fire departments, and so much more are paid for by taxes. We pay for services that the people need to survive. So you say. <laughs> they also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth, but we don't need to go into that much detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. <laughs> oh, but aren't you interested in where your money goes? Yes, I am, and I find it always goes to useless endeavors. It's always good to know more about taxes. Yep, I've read the Income Tax Act of New Zealand. And it's a doozy. <laughs> it's part of my job. Yeah, I'm getting a proper schooling here. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from the people, what would you tax? Uh, well, you'd, t you'd tax, uh... Tobacco. Why not charge taxes on tobacco? Uh, it's unhealthy. It would... And when people smoke tobacco, it's gonna cause more incidences in terms of health. They'll use up the health services that we provide, so putting taxes on tobacco discourages its use. Tobacco, you say? Interesting. Since the government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, there actually has been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. And if you're going to jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be more likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? I see. A tobacco tax? Yeah. Yeah. Packs around 200 yen now. People bitch and moan, but I think that'd still fork over 300 yen. I see. Interesting. At the 400 yen mark, though, I think I'd have a long, hard think about each pack being worth it. <laughs> yes, I think at that point I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. And what about 500 yen a pack? I'd probably quit. Cold turkey. You'd quit at 500? But if we raised it incrementally... Mm -hmm. He started muttering all of a sudden. <laughs> if you raise it incrementally, then you will still be able to collect tax on it before people stop buying it entirely. What else do you think we would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. A tax tied to everyday living, huh? Pretty shrewd. Yeah, we've got like petrol tax. Yep, gasoline, right there. How about jacking up the tax on gasoline? Very unpopular. Very unpopular. Especially here in New Zealand where our public transit options are not that great. And everyone and their mother has a car here, which causes a lot of traffic. Uh, a gasoline tax. Yeah. Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not skip a little more off the top? The price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum, so people have experienced price hikes before. They should be used to price creep, actually. There's also a provisional tariff on gas tax. Yes, there's certainly room to raise taxes without too much notice. Oh, we notice. We fucking notice. <laughs> Boy. Hey, why all the muttering? You're not feeling that one either? Yeah. Oh, no. Far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I will definitely follow up on it. Oh, damn it. I just realized this is set in 1988. I'm causing all the changes that I'm suffering from. I'm suggesting all of it. I've changed Japan's future. I'm to blame. Oh. Good to hear. Well, this is the untold history of how we managed to get taxed on all these items. Majima-san, anything else? Do you have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? Anything else about taxation? Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Well, I was thinking about that sales tax those goofballs were all riled up mm -hmm. about. Yes? So next year, we gotta start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Eh. Yes. That's how it works. Well, why stop at 3%? Sure, you can go in at that rate, but... Wouldn't you get more if you bumped it up? Eh? That would be impossible. <laughs> God. We're at 15%. Majima-san, you saw what happened. Just the 3% tax caused so much outrage, people wanted to tear me apart. To charge more would probably end in open revolt. Nah, it's called Law of Diminishing Returns. They're unhappy at 3%. If you increase it to, like, 5%, how many more people are going to be more outraged, huh? Yeah. No, no, Taiyo-chan. You ain't thinking. People are pissed because you sprang a new thing on them. And you had to turtle it up. Oh, you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game? Familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about this shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to bitch and moan about. Ain't that the truth, Majima? Damn, spitting facts here. And that's when you start gradually turning the screws. Because it's already there, you just keep, keep worsening it. 
every time you hike it up a little, you'll get some more blubbering. But they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time you introduced the tax. Want to know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. <laughs> if something they've already accepted gets a little worse, it's just the facts of life doing what they do. So if you want to pull in the cash, you gotta have a plan to really amp up that sales tax. You know, like, this is the kind of thinking that gets the Yakuza involved in such businesses, right? Oh no! My controller! Come back! Thank you. Even my controller was abhorred at the fact that it's gonna face an increase in sales tax. Majima-san, I'm getting goosebumps. And... I think you're terrifying, actually. Are you even of this earth? <laughs> you really want to know? Huh? No, not really. <laughs> then, if the sales tax were to be raised, how high do you think it should go? <sighs> how high should it go, huh? You're starting at 3%, right? Let me see here. 8. Not 50. Yeah. God. Say around 8%? I see. 8%. Actually, that's a good number. It's neither too close nor too far from the double-digit 10% threshold. There would be dissent among the people, but I imagine it could actually be workable. <clears throat> yeah, but an 8% sales tax will bump a 100 yen thing to 108. That'd sure hurt my enthusiasm for buying pricey stuff. <clears throat> Maybe if we went from the initial 3% up to 5, waited a little longer, then hiked it up to the proposed 8%, then eventually Good. we would... Uh, enough with the muttering under your breath, Tayo-chan. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Ajima-san, I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah, please stop asking me questions. Otherwise, I'm gonna continuously steer Japan into the ground in terms of taxes. Uh -huh. Yeah? Glad I was useful. Useful doesn't begin to describe it. Please, take this. It's just a token of my thanks. I got a primeval spirit stuff. Okay, I better get going. I need to get back to the hotel and prepare my presentation for the tax conference tomorrow. Atta boy. Do your country proud, you hear? Hi. Will do, Majima-san. I'll be sure to work in your advice. See ya. <sighs> Lucky I take taxis everywhere. <laughs> and I'm starting to smoke less and less. Whew. Never figured I'd be in a position to give a guy in the business for running of running our country advice. Taiyachan seemed to get a handle on how to go about jacking up taxes, too. Good for him. Huh? Wait. Jacking up taxes? Did I just... If taxes go up... Is it my fault? <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh god, well that was fun. Oh, look at that. The plot, the next plot scene is right there. But I still have to go fetch that cell phone. <laughs>